if there was ever a team that needed some sort of rebuild, it would clearly be the Super Bowl champions. Of course, this is the Madden realm. The Chiefs, obviously, in-game are not the craziest, most talented team, right? The overalls are not the highest. Wide receiver could use uh, help. Tackles could use help. Running back kind of could use help. Defense, plenty, right? Chris Jones is basically the heart and soul of this pass rush, which I suppose that part is kind of true for real life. But in this rebuild sense, this speed rebuild sense, will probably be looked to be traded. I mean, as far as like trade value goes, there's not a whole lot of it. So trading any X factor I can is basically the best way to get extra players. Don't think we're going to be trading Mahomes or Kelsey, but Chris Jones might be a guy that I can get rid of just because he is a DT, which is important in fairness. But if I can turn him into like three 85 plus star players, that will obviously provide a better help than just one 96 overall X factor when we have so many, you know, 75 overall like normal devs. So we'll see what happens. I'm not 100% sure who we're going to be able to trade for and what we're going to get for them, but you know, that's basically it. Last speed rebuild I did, uh, the team was also an 83 overall, I believe. So I think we're going to do the same thing where we just allow 10 minutes. You know, basically it's eight minutes because you do have to back out like 90% of the time to continue a trade because otherwise the stuff you just got or got rid of, you know, things will just get, it'll get messy. Like they disappear and they, they reappear. It just, it's a wild show. Uh, which, speaking of a wild show, if you guys enjoy this wild show, uh, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. We do a ton of franchise stuff, and uh, yeah, if you're not new, really appreciate your continued support. Uh, a real rebuild will be on Thursday of the Baltimore Ravens, but long story short, if you guys don't know how these speed rebuilds go, we're basically setting this team up for a one-year you know, showdown here, so it doesn't matter how old the player is, what dev they are, as long as you win a Super Bowl, the success has been achieved so anyone is basically tradable even Mahomes if we really felt like that was the best idea I don't think that is but you know if I think it's the best idea maybe we trade him uh but yeah we are gonna get 10 minutes to do so we're gonna hope for the best and uh see if we can win a Super Bowl which the Chiefs and Sim definitely don't always do so especially year one well let's put those 10 minutes on the clock and start in three two one and go like I said, Chris Jones is probably going to be the, I don't know why I didn't just click on him there, probably going to be the uh, the biggest name we trade, Awuzie T. Higgins. Uh, maybe not. The trade finders kind of let me down here a little bit. Pick one overall probably does have value, but that's a next year pick anyways. I mean, there's some okay names here, but let's try, what about the Bengals? they got a couple of decent players. Um... Jamar, Mixon, and Reader. That would give us a DT back. Not quite the same type of player. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, what about instead of Reader, we do Hendrickson? What about Higgins? Can we do this trio? Oh. Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> got an edge rusher, I suppose. Um, I, uh, I don't know if I like that or not. Some pretty good overalls, in fairness. But we got ourselves a new running back. That's that. Obviously, Pacheco in real life solid in game though not the greatest what about these trio we could get a woozy as well make ourselves the kansas city Bengals. uh the jamel dean dt obviously would be on the list of players we could go for let's let's manually look around um the cardinals maybe get mr hopkins about a minute gone it's not terrible hopkins and marquise um oh crap Oh, crap. I don't know how much running backs have value anyways, but Hopkins, do they have anyone else we can get off of them? Like, man, they're all low-level talents, though, so I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, the Cowboys, maybe they do have some offensive linemen. I would take, like, not Tyron. I mean, I would, but, like, Tyler Smith and Terrence Steele wouldn't be terrible. Odigazua, Leighton Vandrash. If we can get this trio, that'd be amazing. I might actually kind of like throw a bit of draft picks in here just to bolster up the offensive line, which we might trade even more of. Uh, okay, okay. What about just this straight up? Okay, okay. I don't like that. I wonder if I did it manually each player if it would go. I kind of feel like it would, no? Okay, Pacheco for steal, I guess. 
because uh, I do have a plan to trade some of those higher overall linemen. Okay, so that worked. Uh, I think Tyler Smith is just a little bit higher of a of a value because of his uh, age and the fact that he's a rookie. But we got a new lineman. That's something I kind of want to keep him. Can I get rid of Tony? Because I think we need another like big name wide receiver. What about Lockett? I think Lockett's probably the best value because he's. I think he's star dev, right? Tony for Lockett. I mean, that's not going to work straight up. But right guard Trey Smith. He is star. That's. I mean, I don't want to lose another lineman. Whatever, dude. I think we're going to do it. I think Lockett's good enough. And this actually isn't a crazy trade. Okay, maybe maybe it is. I really thought the third was going to be enough. Oh, you got to be kidding me. There's no way, dude. That is... You know how much time that hurts us? Um, Amenahu? Amenahu? I, I guess not. They're like, Amenahu? Who the, yeah, who the hell is that? We don't want him. Jawan Taylor, they just got... Ugh. I just want this trade. What do I got to do? I can't give up a first for him, can I? If I give up a first next year, I kind of want something back in return. Quandre Diggs is actually a pretty good overall for his, like, age. Okay, that's interesting. Six minutes left. Uh, Jordan Brooks, we could use a linebacker for sure. Oh, come on, dude. Tariq Wollin's a cornerback. Corners have decent value, but maybe not even close. <laughs> They're like, yeah, maybe not. And Wosu, uh, let's get Draymond Jones if we can. Oh, my God. Are they serious? How much time I'm losing just to get some mid-level player? What about Bush? Thank you. I just I just wanted to get max value because I was getting rid of a first round pick. Uh, anything else we can do? I guess, like I said, offensive linemen are kind of our highest value players at this point. So let's trade some off. <laughs> so what are our linemen like? We have one, two, three, four, five kind of. So we'd have to get some linemen back, I think. Um, trying to think of teams with multiple players. What about the Packers? Can we get like a DT back? What about... Well, Kenny Clark, Devondre, Rashawn Gary. Is that possible? Ooh, okay. That would put a... That would also give us value with trading Karloftis. A first round. Okay, what about first and a four? Okay, what about a first and a third? Do it, please. Oh, my lord. First and a second probably gets it done. I'd rather do the second next year. Third, second this year would have more value. Please tell me the second does it. Please. It's so close. Oh, we got lucky. Five minutes left. That's a good trade, dude. We got a lot for that. I know, obviously, we did have to get rid of the first round. Oh, not free agency. The clock is being wasted. We need more offensive linemen. I know we're kind of like derailing what the Chiefs have done here to uh, add to their offensive line. But also, we are adding more depth across the board. Uh, we have two great wide receivers. So that's good. Uh, we could get rid of Clyde Edward Hilaire. Anyone else? We still need O-line. But I think we can get O-line with those players. What about Dana? Can we like turn this into like two okay linemen? The Cardinals don't really have good linemen. Sorry, Cardinals fans. Uh, the Eagles, I think their linemen are too good. But let's see. Landon Dickerson, I'm pretty sure last time was like damn near impossible to get. Uh, can we get like a, a mid-level DT, Milton Williams? I'd do this whole haul. Ugh, they're like, we won't. <laughs> the Jaguars have some uh, older offensive linemen, don't they? Uh, they do not. I'm, I don't know why I was thinking they had Norwell. Yeah, This has zero chance to go through. Uh, I'd probably do this straight up just to add. Thank you. Green almost always goes for an offensive lineman. If they're normal or star dead, they're like, you can have them. Turn our offensive line into the Jaguars. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Three and a half minutes remaining, and I'm really not where I would like to be right now. Cornerback is a need. Uh, what do we do? We need a cornerback. Linebacker is absolutely fine. So let's try to trade off some of the guys we don't need. I guess Willie Gay will get rid of O-line. What about uh, Awuzie? They, they kind of seem like they're willing to get rid of him that time before. Awuzie and... I would actually take Hill, because I think he'd actually start here. Okay, is this possible? I don't know. Three minutes left. Still probably have a little bit of draft picks. Third round, probably not going to be enough, but maybe. Okay, I'd probably be willing to do that second. And I'd actually take the trade without Hill if I could. Oh, please, Awuzie. No, what do we do? 
What do we do? Wuzier is a pretty good player. He's an 86 overall corner. Um, hmm, I don't like this. I don't like where they have us here. They have us in a good spot. Wide receiver, we would get rid of MVS. Don't think the game really cares too much about how fast the player actually is. They're like, as long as their overall is good, they're good, which is overall is not good anyways. I don't know what I'm doing here. Second round pick. We're wasting so much time. Please, Awuzie. Even though it's not his fault. Um, Did we try this? Do I? Can I just do like full draft picks, please? Oh my god, let's get rid of this, see what they would do. Uh, Trey Hendricks, yeah, that's kind of the whole point. All right, so we're kind of choking here a little bit. Uh, let's go to Sky Moore, actually, as well. Sky Moore. So we have two linemen, three linemen. Nice. Let's uh, let's fix that, actually. Was that the Cowboys? <laughs> Y'all mind just giving me uh, Smith, after all? And then I'll just take Odigazua if I can. I would take this if they do it. Bro! We're selling so hard. We were on such a streak, and then we just couldn't do anything. I'm trading the wrong player off here. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm choking. I'm absolutely choking here. I just need an offensive lineman. I don't even care. Uh, where was the commanders? Commanders, they got some older linemen, right? Chase Rulier and Norwell, maybe? That would that would be great. This would be great. A minute left. Choking hard. Third round pick. I don't even care at this point. Just give it to me. Oh my god, I don't even care. Second round pick, you can you can take it. I, I just need some linemen just to feel a little bit better about myself. I'll move some players around. 52 seconds left. I'm trying to think. Karloftis. Uh, we need a safety. So Karloftis and somebody else. If we can get a safety and a DT, that would be great. Karloftis can be traded. Dana can be traded. I'm going to keep a Menahu because I think he can play. He's like a bigger dude. Uh, oh my god, we have so much stuff. We need a safety. What what team? The Bengals? Daxon Hill? Oh my lord, what am I doing? Uh, give me Eddie Jackson. That would be a great trade if I can do it. Thank you. The Bears finally doing something right for us. 16 seconds left. I'm not even going to get the freaking players on the board here. I can't even think about who we need at this point. We're going to leave a couple of linebackers on the board here, I think. Which is okay, I suppose. Uh... I'm going to put these two guys on the list. I'm going to allow it. I'm going to allow a quick trade. Uh, Jalen. I think we did all right. I think we did all right. I just hope we have five linemen, which I think we do. We definitely left some value on the board, but we also definitely added a lot of value. All right, I've moved some players around and put them in their spots. We started as an 83 overall. I just asked to be higher than 83. Otherwise, we look idiot. Lee, I don't even know, 86, and not the best, but definitely an improvement, uh, offensive line took a little bit of a hit, but in turn, the running back wide receiver position have vastly improved, and then defensively, the pass rush department is much better, Chris Jones is gone, but not that he directly turned it into it, but you know, no Chris Jones, instead we have Rashawn Gary, Kenny Clark, Trey Hendrickson, Devondre Campbell, Devin Bush, Eddie Jackson, and then I suppose Thompson is a backup. If I had a little bit more time, I would love to upgrade the cornerback spot if we could have turned McDuffie two-thirds into like an 84, 85 overall corner or something like that. Would have been great, but we can live with it. Can we win with it? Yeah, you see that? That wasn't, hey, I'm just saying, uh, I'm, I'm all right. 15-2. and two. I've seen some good Chiefs seasons. I have seen 15-2. and two. I don't know if I've seen it in the first season, though. Uh, so obviously, uh, a good season, regardless of, uh, whether or not would it have been better if we didn't trade for all these players, but pretty damn good. Best of our speed rebuilds for sure. I think we did a good job, especially considering once again, the chiefs, their roster talent in game isn't that ridiculous. And if you look at that, uh, front board there, you can see a lot of the guys you traded for actually had really good seasons. Mahomes, good season, but you know, I've seen better from him. Rushing-wise, Joe Mixon killed it. Receiving, Travis Kelsey was the best. Lockett was pretty damn good. And then Higgins was disappointing. MVS, really solid. Mixon, good receiving numbers. Blocking. I mean, I've used the Chiefs scheme a lot. And they usually give up way more than this. So I'm actually insanely shocked by this. Especially those tackles. Rashawn Gary with 23.5 sacks. Trey Hendrickson with 17.5. Kenny Clark with 8.5. Just looking at Rashawn, Gary, and Clark... You can't tell me Chris Jones was putting up more than 30 sacks, right? Like, you just you just simply can't. 
Uh, hell, I don't even know if he would have gotten to 17 and a half with Trey Hendrickson's numbers. So there's that. Snead had a great year. Jalen Watson had a really good year. Uh, kicking was pretty damn good. Punting was pretty good as well. Kick return, punt return game. We got a punt return touchdown. What kind of awards. We had a really good season for a lot of different players. Mahomes at number two for MVP. Mixon, Offensive Player of the Year. Rashawn Gary, Defensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year and not a chance. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Jalen Watson at three with those interceptions. Mahomes, best QB, number two. Uh, Mixon, number one. Running back, wide receiver, number four. O-line at number four, D-line at number one, number four, and I would have thought another one with Kenny Clark, but I guess not. Best linebacker, not on the list. Best DB, number one and seven. Best kicker at six. So I got to say, this is a hell of a year. Literally, I'm contractually <laughs> obligated. The Bengals, ironically enough, a team that we, uh, we kind of robbed quite a bit from uh, who do have Chris? Actually, let's take a look at Chris Jones before I go in. I kind of want to see how uh, well he played. I'm going to be so mad if he kills it this game against us. It would make sense because obviously we do not have the uh, the best offensive line anymore. Traded a lot of those players off. But so far, it seems, especially considering the way they played, like it was a smart decision. And not that this is going to prove anything, but Chris Jones, what kind of season did he have? 11 and a half. I mean, I'm just saying. Is that better than uh, the trade we made? Absolutely not. I also kept all of the XP sliders on 100, which is a little surprising because we're at an 89 overall now. We did keep uh, or go for a couple of young players or young enough players to still develop a little bit, but still surprised to see them get to an 89. Obviously, oh yeah, morale, I suppose, as well. But yeah, the Bengals, I'd be a little surprised if we lost this game. I feel like we're definitely better than them, and we took a lot of their core players away, so... I'm hoping for the best here. Three to zero. Like they lost their wide receiver, their uh, edge rusher, and who the hell? Oh yeah, their running back. So they uh, they lost a lot of their core players from a trade with us. So this is definitely the worst Bengals team you're going to see season one in any sort of franchise situation. Yet here they are, not doing enough. Maybe three seconds left, and they win the game. The first game of the playoffs, we lose. Had the bye week, so the Bengals did have to win. Really? Kareem Hunt. How did they get Kareem? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because we're using an updated roster, there's a bunch of players in free agency. So they actually technically, I wouldn't say won the trade, but they didn't do that bad because they ended up trading Joe Mixon but got a guy that's just as good, which is kind of disingenuous, if you will. It's a little... I don't know. I don't really like that. You know, like adding Robbie Anderson when losing Higgins. Like, that is kind of sucky, but what can you do about it? It's just the way it goes, you know. Sucks because we can't sign those players. That's not in, in the realm of our rules. That is a massively disappointing season. But I suppose the Bengals, uh, they do seem to have the Chiefs number quite a bit. Literal kryptonite at this point. But let's take a look at who wins the Super Bowl. It's got to be the Bengals. If they don't take our spot to the Super Bowl and win it, I'm going to be pissed, especially since it's against Washington. There's no shot. How does Washington even – oh, my Lord. Okay, I kind of want to see how the uh, the Bengals played in that uh, the championship round as well because it kind of gives us an idea of how – okay, so I don't know what was – you know, what they were up with, but they went freaking off. They won by three against us, but they beat Buffalo by 34 and put up 56 points in the Super Bowl. I mean, that's ridiculous. What's the highest points ever scored in the Super Bowl? That's got to be pretty damn close, if not the actual record. That would literally have broken the record by one point. That is absolutely insane. But that is pretty much going to be it. We can see we have a negative 8 mil cap room. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, players. Dev up for Mixon. No dev ups for the wide receiver. Even Lockett? That is harsh, dude. Of course, we had that extra lineman as well, which kind of sucks. Gary went up in dev. Sneed went up in dev. And that was pretty much it. Even Trey Hendricks, bro. I don't understand. Like, sometimes you get a guy that has, like, five sacks, you get a dev up. Trey Hendrickson had 17 and a half sacks with 11 tackles for a loss. And he didn't go up to even star. I actually don't understand. I really don't. I don't get it. But that is going to be it for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs speed rebuild. Didn't get the Super Bowl win, but obviously... That was one of our more successful rebuilds, just based on like the season totals for the stats, and also just the value we got in that short bit of time with the team that we had. Chiefs, like I said, don't have the craziest trade value, 
you know, those linemen are decent overalls, but they're not superstars in fairness. So we ended up turning, uh, you know, not a whole lot of a trade value into a really good team, right? Like adding Joe Mixon, adding Lockett, adding Higgins, downgrading the line a little bit, but then adding Gary, Kenny Clark, Trey Hendrickson, you know, Devondre Campbell, Bush, Eddie Jackson. We added a lot of names, and we still left some players on the board, right? Like we still had, you know, we could have traded off Thompson, which I guess I'll take the depth. Could have traded off those thirds. We had the extra lineman, Niang, because he's a young star dev. He would have been worth something. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. It's just uh, the Bengals are on a tear. I don't know. Like I said, they added a couple of names like Hunt and whatnot that they probably shouldn't have had. But as far as uh, how we played and all that, can't be mad, right? Like the, the Bengals team are just insane. And uh, I don't know how, but they just went absolutely off and... We were the only ones that kind of at least stood in their way a little bit. Actually, they had to play in the wild card round. How well did they do in that round? Let's take a look at that one. Did they smoke in that round too? Okay, so the Ravens kind of held them back a little bit, but that's a divisional match. doesn't really count, and even then they still gave up a lot of points. I really think if you take away Kareem Hunt and force them to have one of the like 79 overall running backs, they probably don't go where they are. They would have lost to us, I would say, which is super unfortunate, but... That's just the way it is. If you guys enjoy this one, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, once again, appreciate your continued support on the channel a ton. Maybe follow me on Twitter, John Care. Second channel, Care plays. Uh, I, I think that new Minecraft Legends game came out today. I might take a look and see if it's any good. Maybe I'll play it. But there are some other games coming out this month. I believe the Star Wars game and uh, I think Dead Island 2 comes out. I haven't really heard much about it, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to come out this month. So uh, if those are the cases, maybe those are the games we play next over there on the second channel, PK Plays. So maybe subscribe if you're uh, you know not subscribed over there. If you want to see non-Madden content, which I think at times is pretty damn good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, but that's about it. Should be a Steelers franchise video later today, a career simulation tomorrow, and then a real rebuild on Thursday. And that's pretty much it for me. If you guys have any suggestions for rebuilds, challenge ideas, uh, and if you want to see another speed rebuild team, let me know in the comment section below. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. Look at those ranks, by the way. That offense is insane. Defense was really good too, except for pass yards. I mean, this is this is a disappointing one, but what can you do? But until next video, see ya.